welcome back to my channel so we are at the at the ninth video of our leaflet series tutorial so in this tutorial we will learn how to make choroplate map so before we start uh, uh, i would like to uh, give uh, some idea about choroplate map so what choroplate map is is uh, it is a map uh, that displays quantitative data quantitative data can be displayed uh, using choroplate map and this uh, quantitative data can be showed uh, uh, using uh, various uh, range of colors so what uh, we will do is we will have some data uh, quantitative data such as uh, population data uh, population density data or uh, in this uh, case pandemic case uh, we might have uh, COVID-19 cases data so we can show that uh, data in our web map uh, which is called choroplate map so what we basically uh, in this uh, tutorial I have uh, United uh, data population uh, density data population density data of uh, United States uh, every state of United States of America United States so uh, so what we'll go do is uh, we'll go to our leaflet in our website so leaflet.com leafletcs.com and in leaflet.com i will go to tutorial so uh, it's already in this tutorial also only how to use that tutorial in your uh, coding so i'll use every data of this tutorial so i'll go to this tutorial so what uh, we basically will make is this uh, we'll make this type of this type of this type of uh, uh, map uh, in our uh, uh, leaflet uh, GS, uh, uh, tutorial so uh, uh, I have a data source uh, of United GS states so here is US states GS uh, this is the data and so we already have this <coughs> uh, uh, data layer uh, background layer map layer um, already inside our code so we don't need to add this data uh, so after this uh, uh, let us in uh, add only this uh, state data to our map so what I will do is uh, first of all I will go here and uh, link my uh, JavaScript file sorry script so this uh, inside data I have uh, us states data uh, so uh, i have uh, already so i have given this uh, data uh, script link and uh, inside the script uh, i have assigned a variable named states data states data is the variable name so what i'll do is i'll add this json file uh, so uh, i can add uh, okay uh, what i'll do is i'll share this data on here so for this uh, my yarl dot geo json so what my name that is uh, i have uh, stress data dot a2 map so i have added this so let's see i'll go to us look okay so for our convenience let's keep let's use the latitude and longitude of us so Sorry, what is it? Why this mistake? Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, 
did some mistake here I want to do this confused this must be this one else maybe it is minus minus no 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 uh, let's see wrong This is this is the location exact location. So now this must work. Okay, this is working. So shared view will give for this might work. My four is okay. Four is okay. Okay, now. So we have added all uh, JSON data. So now we'll give some color. So for the color, we'll define a uh, function uh, which is known as get color. So what uh, get color will do is it will determine color based on the density data. So we uh, D is uh, the density data. So here we'll copy this and we'll paste here so okay so again uh, now we'll uh, define a styling function so a styling function uh, will be style style inside style uh, what style does is it applies style to our map uh, so it is uh, when uh, uh, we pass the color in uh, get color uh, so from that uh, the color is passed to our map uh, using the function style uh, so we are uh, inside style we have different uh, attributes so weight uh, opacity color white dash array 3 uh, fill opacity 0 percent so we'll copy this and we'll add this to our map so let us see what oh, okay now it is okay so what uh, from this code look uh, uh, color color means uh, what it uh, does is color uh, white means it uh, gives color to our uh, uh, stock stock color means white and uh, uh, dash array 3 dash array 3 means uh, in the stock we will have some dash line so we can see dash line here so this is the dash line and after that uh, uh, weight will be 2 and opacity will be 1 so uh, this is the um, this is how we will add color to the, our map so um, our it is looking better now uh, so what we will do is we will add some interaction to our map so for interaction we basically use uh, uh, a function highlight feature what highlight feature does is it handles uh, what the map should do uh, when uh, we over over the map so what you, uh, we want is we want to show the every density data of the every state okay so when we over this we want to show the uh, density of this state in uh, here at our map so this here so what uh, we want to do is we want to add some uh, over effect to our map 
So for this, uh, let's go to uh, add this function, copy this function, and uh, uh, add this to our map. So inside the uh, e dot target means uh, uh, we we'll, uh, have to uh, target uh, to our uh, uh, what uh, our uh, every layer in our map uh, is our target. So uh, this means the target. So uh, we'll give a target uh, as a layer, and uh, we'll set the style of our layer. So and uh, in some browser, uh, we have to bring that uh, layer to the front side. So we get it. Uh, we have uh, given this. Uh, uh, if uh, uh, to our uh, uh, function, so copy this and paste here. So okay, see uh, what is uh, this? Uh, we'll get some over effect when we uh, here oh, over over our data. So uh, after this. Uh, <coughs> what we have to do is again uh, we will say set a function uh, that will uh, uh, work when we over out our mouse from that so what we will do is we will copy this and paste here <coughs> after that uh, we will go to our uh, we will uh, uh, define our geojson data as variable geojson so it might be we'll use data we'll do that variable here so what our geojson data is uh, states data st states data so it is our uh, we'll assign this state data as a variable so uh, now we'll use uh, zoom to feature so what uh, <coughs> zoom to feature will do is uh, it will zoom to the feature that uh, we over uh, over that so copy this and paste this and we haven't had any event listener so uh, we'll after that uh, it will work so after this let's go to <coughs> Uh, on each feature what on each feature does it applies that uh, highlight and reset and zoom to layer uh, zoom to feature function to our uh, uh, to the map layer so we'll add this function and uh, we can see we have added geojson state data and style style is from above uh, what we have uh, predefined in our uh, here for we have then where here we have, we have defined our uh, style so it will return that style so okay uh, copy all these and we'll add that to our map layer so now we have seen some effect in our um, when we over to our layer so after that what we will do is we want to show uh, the data what uh, population density of this state is uh, when we over over here so what we will do is we, when we over uh, over our uh, uh, every state so what we want to show is here at this place we want to show the uh, population density data so for this uh, we will go to um, custom info control and uh, in constant we will uh, define info as a uh, control uh, so we will define variable as a info and uh, when uh, we uh, here on air when on air does is uh, on air method is uh, uh, called on legend so uh, we define what we want to happen when the element is created so Uh, we'll do copy uh, all of these to our code so okay here we have seen uh, we haven't already <coughs> uh, given the data so 
uh, only we can see this here so what we'll do is uh, we'll from here we can see uh, we have function highlight feature inside highlight feature we must uh, give this data property so copy this and then inside a function where is our function previous function function here okay so we are inside here let's give this info and inside this uh, reset inside reset we'll give this so okay now we have seen some uh, data here okay so here we in this place you can see so now we'll <laughs> add some styling so we'll give some boundary and styling to this so here uh, we can see styling css styling uh, copy this and paste uh, inside our style uh, we have this style here above okay inside style we can add this mm, okay after this okay you can see over this so this is our uh, we are uh, this is our data uh, population density colorado 49.33 people per mile square so at last uh, what we will do is we will add some custom legend control so legend control is uh, uh, we want to show the legend uh, at the bottom of our map so for this we will um, define a legend as a uh, variable and uh, we will add a uh, on add feature uh, legend dot on add and it will uh, create a function map uh, and inside map we will have a, a variable defined variable uh, div and uh, we will create a div, div uh, as info legend and inside info legend we will have some grade grade at 0 10 20 that inside this uh, the color will be changed from 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 50 and uh, we'll label that and uh, after that here uh, we can see <coughs> variable from uh, i to grades and uh, we'll increase that uh, every time so uh, copy this to our map and paste here so after that we'll uh, here we can see sorry this is Okay, so I have added that inside our style. So we have to add below our previous code. So I will add here. Okay, now okay, we can see here uh, that. So also I want to show color in this. Uh, so for color, I will go to styling and add this uh, data. So attributes and after that, I'll go to styling. Yeah, you can see okay and this is our final result so here 0 to 10 this color and 10 to 20 20 to 50 50 to 100 100 to 200 100 to 500 500 to 1000 and 1000 above this color so this is our basically the photoplate map uh, this is the final output mm, hope uh, you like this video uh, it might be something difficult for you to understand only because my english is a little bit uh, not nice so anyway thank you very much for watching mm, please like comment and subscribe this channel thank you very much